Do you believe in psychics? How about pet psychics? Well, you'll have a chance to meet both coming up at a Boston Enchanted Afternoon, an event that we have to say has us intrigued. <laughs> it sure does. And here to ex explain, uh, Glenda Kugler with the Nebraska Boston Terrier Rescue and intuitive coach, psychic Andy. Thanks for coming on the, the blend. We appreciate it. And Thanks. who are these guys? Yeah, we ne you need to introduce us to our little bitty guests here. Sure. This is Arabella. I've had her for about over a year. She had some work done and stuff, and she thought she wanted to come to be a star today. And they love hanging out in pairs, those Boston's, don't they? They do. And this is Seamus. He was here in April when we were here. Um, he did go to a home, but yeah, he, you know, we just thought we'd try him, and he came back to me. So yeah, well, I'm glad, glad he wanted you're to be. Back. He likes being a star. So. He does. He's, he's a big guy. Uh, we, we've had a lot of fundraisers on the show, but this isn't your average fundraiser. Tell us what's going on with this. Well, I like the spiritual side of everything, and I believe my dogs are my soulmates, and I thought it would be fun to get the two together. So I went to the one of the fests, um, the health fest, and ran into Psychic Andy here, and yeah, so I asked him if he would be willing to help me with the fundraiser. So basically this event includes not just opportunities to help the dogs, to learn about the dogs, to learn about Boston's. You've got pet psychics and you have people psychics like Andy. So anybody who's interested in even not just dogs that's interested in the metaphysical, this is a great event for them as well. Right, and it has been a great opportunity. We have uh, pet vendors coming. We even have vendors that aren't even metaphysical, our dog vendors. They just want to come along to uh, support us. So it's actually starting to be a great event. All right, let's say I get down to this thing. I get there. I hook up with Psychic Andy, and, and we strike up a cover. What can I expect? What can, what can someone expect when they talk to you? You know, when, when I read people's energy, it's just like I, I, I just tune into them. So it's, it's almost like, uh, I guess, a good way to put it is connecting with an old friend. Because when I, when I read somebody, it feels like an old friend. And so that's sometimes why I can, you know, right away know things about you or, or sense the struggles you're going through or know some of your talents right off the bat. I'm, I'm nervous now. <laughs> are we connected? Are we? Con are you connected with me right now? I'm. Trust me. I'm just trying to to hold my my own together on TV here. I'm not really in psychic mode. There's but. a lot of energies <laughs> through the morning blood. And imagine if Mary was here. Oh goodness. Um, what kind of questions do people ask you? What kind of things can you answer for them? You have uh, people are familiar with you because you've been on the radio here sure. in Omaha. Sure. Well, I'm a I'm not just an intuitive or a psychic, but I'm also a life coach. So a lot of the questions that people have for me, love life is always towards the top of the list, uh, career, health, uh, pretty, there's really no area I can't talk to people about. And actually at this event I'll be giving lectures on uh, intuitive development because I feel everyone has a little bit of intuition and I'm just going to teach them how to use it uh, in a practical way. I've heard that a lot. Is it harder to develop that intuition? It's not hard, but it, 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 it's a little bit harder for people who are more logical or analytical thinkers because to use your intuition, it, you know, it comes from the heart and from your emotional side. So that's, that's what I have to teach people. Glenda, let's get to the cost of this thing and all the details surrounding that. Tell us, and, and tell us a little bit more about the mission of, Bo of Nebraska Boston Terrier Rescue. We take in um, dogs from puppy mills, uh, you know, uh, humane societies if they don't have a place for dogs, you know, we'll help out and stuff like that. Or people that, you know, just can't care for their dogs. You know, they'll call us and we can take them in and we can do all their vet care if they need surgery. We'll give them surgery. You know, they're all ready to go looking for their forever home. <laughs> what and we, yeah, and we do a thorough check for everybody, too, and try to find a good soulmate for each one of them. What is it about the Bostons that gets you? I know that we, a lot of us dog owners, kind of identify with one breed. Obviously, this is yours. You know, I've had others, but there's just something about them. I just, just, we're just intuitive with each other, so yeah. They, they, they look like little <laughs> sausages. They're so yeah. cool. <laughs> with legs. Yeah, Even Psychic like yeah. Andy yeah. is feeling the Boston <laughs> yeah, today. Just, yeah. They're like Lay's potato chips. You can't have yeah. just one. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about this raffle. There's also a silent auction. Uh, yes, some of those yes. items. Tell us about You some. know, they, we have so much coming in. I mean, we'll have the list finally updated tomorrow. But like for the silent auction items, we have Nebraska football tickets. We have big Husker baskets. We have uh, over the night weekends, like at Arbor Lodge. You know, just a lot of fun stuff stuff like that. And the raffles are just from our great vendors that are giving away free readings, um, family videos pitching in to give us 
free movies and just a lot of fun stuff. I mean, there's just too much to, to name. Yeah. And but of course you've got Psychic Andy, who's the people psychic, but yes. a pet psychic as well. We Tell do. us, that's pretty intriguing to we me. Do. Tell me what the pet psychic can do. We have Leticia from, um, or Leticia, excuse me, from, um, uh, she's intuitive, or she likes to be called an animal communicator. She works with the Nebraska Humane Society, and she will be um, visiting with pets for like five or ten minutes, depending on you know what the need of your pet is. So, right, so you can bring your dog, your, your pet. Exactly, okay. you can bring your dog, and how we have it set up, they'll be allowed to be in where the pet photography, which is by VW Photography of Fremont, will be out there, and so they'll be able to be in the morning room. And then uh, we also have dog sitters outside, so we have a place to put your dogs while you roam the castle and visit with Andy and others. Good so, stuff. Yeah. Petting zoo yes, as well? Yes, petting zoo. Right. Yes. Opportunity oh, yeah, to that, learn yeah, more. True. We have other rescues coming out as well. I know the St. Bernard Rescue is going to be out there as well. So. All right. Wonderful. Well, let's get to the details. A Boston Enchanted Afternoon is coming up. It's this Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Check out the dogs, meet some other dogs, visit with Psychic Andy or the Pet Psychic. They've got definitely a little bit of something for everybody at this event. It's at Joslyn Castle, 39th and Davenport, and tickets for admission are seven dollars. Right, Glenda, thanks for coming in. Psychic Thank Andy, you. you feel anything with this energy <laughs> over here yet? There's a lot of energy coming. Maybe that's why you have your own show because you have so much energy. Oh, there you there go. You go. Yeah. What it is. Thanks for coming in. And we appreciate it. See you again. You, yeah, and bye to these nice. guys too. Thanks for yes. bringing them in. Guests of the Morning Blend start their day with coffee from Pears Gourmet, the official coffee of the Morning Blend. To learn more about Pears, go to OmahaMorningBlend.com and click on the Pears logo right on the home page. Well, Parkinson's disease. If you live here in Nebraska, chances are you know someone affected by it. Find out how you can.